All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 11. All right. So as suggested by the title, we are creating a form. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so after the P element, we're gonna insert a form with an action attribute targeting this link right here, right? Uh, so let's go look up form real quick. Form element HTML like that. Uh, so we've got this, we've got some choices. We could go to the Mozilla site and, but I don't really like Mozilla for uh, this HTML stuff because it's just not, it's more get down to business. While uh, the W3 schools, you can see it's got a lot of different uh, techniques being used for HTML. So, uh, you know, it just, to me, it, since HTML is more about design instead of functionality, uh, I think the W3 schools is where it's at for this stuff. That being said, so as you can see here, there's a ton of stuff about uh, form on this. And we're gonna pretty much go over all this stuff in uh, in the free code camp lessons, but uh, basically the HTML form element can be can contain one or more of the following form elements, and then all these elements right here. We're going to go over most of these, but not some of them. That being said, so what we're going to do here is we're going to come over here and say uh, opening tag of form, and then we'll also close form like this. All right. So also we're going to add the action attribute targeting this link right here. So let's open the action thing up over here. Action attribute in HTML. Uh, as you can see, it, it straight goes to W3 schools instead of Mozilla. That's another reason why I choose uh, W3 because it's pretty much the standard uh, when you look stuff up. So let's come over here and the definition for the action attribute is it specifies where to send the form data when the form is submitted, all right? So we'll come over here and inside of this form thing, we're going to say, uh, action and then we're going to give it the equal sign or action like this equal sign uh quotes and then we'll throw this thing in there by copying it and pasting it inside of the quotes all right and that should take care of business uh let's just paste it up here just to see where it goes and it goes nowhere it's just a fake site anyway <laughs> Uh, so let's go to uh, check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 12 and we'll see you next time.